Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is seventh part of our Linux monitoring with Zabbix. And if you remember from our last video, we configured uh, triggers and in this video we will configure action. But first I would like to show you a very important thing and which took me almost two hours, more than two hours to configure first time like basically how you can set up emails uh, to send from your uh, local domain to uh, like let's say gmails or extra to external domains because sometimes let's say you have configured zabbix in your uh, local environment but you want to receive the alerts and emails to your external uh, email addresses such as gmail hotmail and stuff like that so this is really important and it takes some time to configure this thing so that's why uh, the plan is in this seventh video I'm going to show you how to configure that uh, email address and then uh, like email setup and then in next video I'll show you how to uh, set up the action okay so in order to do that first of all and for that reason I have also created this how to actually these are the steps for CentOS and what we need to do okay so but I'll go uh, like I'll take it uh, through step by step you guys okay let's clear the screen first thing what we need to do is I'm on CentOS yum-y install mailx okay this thing I have already installed it and SSMTP these two packages we need to install mailx and SSMT. I, I have both of them then what I need to do is or you guys need to do uh, go to the configuration of SSMTP SSMTP.conf and over here let me show you things which you need to change from here root uh, you will change root is equals to Linux world like your Gmail address or anything. I'm using linuxworld.co at gmail.com. Uh, okay, mail hub is basically what SMTP you are going to use. So we are going to use Gmail SMTP. It's going to be smtp.gmail.com and port is going to be 587. Uh, rewrite domain is basically your domain name. I'm using uh, this example.org. If you have, let's say, abc.com, you are going to in, uh, put here abc.com. Hostname is going to be fqdn, basically, fully qualified domain of my machine, and it is mon.example.org. Okay, you can uh, mention your fqdn. And in order to che check fqdn, you can write hostname space dash capital A and it will give you all the information about your FQDM. Uh, we need to enable this uh, from line override is equal to yes. We need to add this like enable this use TLS is equals to yes. Used star TLS we need to add this line okay without this uh, start TLS enabling or adding this line uh, Gmail is not going to accept your emails. Then here is auth user is equals to linuxworld.co. This is the username. Okay, and this is your password, your Gmail password. You need to mention it here. Okay. So these are the things which you need to first configure in SSMTP. This is not SMTP, okay? Just uh, make sure you understand this. This is not SMTP. This is a utility called SSMTP. Okay, yeah. etc SSMTP. Okay, now once we have configured this, we need to create a script. Okay, and the script is you know, a single line script, and I'll show you that where to place that script. Okay, first you go to etc zabbix and your server 
configuration file and over here you need to find alerts here if you can see this this one alert script path it's in user lib zabbix alert script okay if you are do, using a different uh, distro uh, your path might be different from mine but from here you can check this alert scripts path is is equals to usr slash lib slash zabbix slash alert scripts okay so i'm going to this directory slash usr slash lib slash zabbix and alert scripts and over here i have created this script mail-sender.sh just let's uh, check the content it's a simple script it's a bin bash the shebang header and then it's going to echo dollar sign three i'll just tell you i'll just uh, uh, like explain you this what is this dollar sign three i'll put it to uh, user bin mail this is the exact path of mail uh, command so it's dash s dollar sign two and dollar sign one okay so basically what it's saying is this is the body of the message dollar sign three basically these dollar signs three dollar sign two they get user input from the command line and they can work um, like uh, you can use them in the script okay so this is dollar sign three like the body of the message dollar sign two is the subject of the message and dollar sign one is going to be the to field like to whom you are going to send okay once you have completed this script okay next thing you need to do is you need to go out of here now go to monitoring uh, Zabbix monitor sorry go to configuration and then uh, sorry administration and then go to media types okay once you are here you need to click on create media type give it any name I have given it name Zabbix new and from here you need to select script okay and then you are going to give it a name mail sender dash sender dot sh here this is the script name okay uh, don't forget to give it permission like you can just chmod if if your script is not executable let's check what is our it's uh, you can say it's read write execute for root user okay read execute like uh, it's and uh, so basically this is the uh, read write execute read write and read write 644 is the permission you can see that okay now once this is done click on add and you will see a script like this okay you can delete this original like whatever the this thing is available uh, because when when you will go into this create media or go into this administration media type you will uh, find out this email script jabber sms you can disable this script okay this email script because we don't want it to. Uh, otherwise it will not work okay so this is the one i have already created and you're going to create the same next what we need to do we need to go to profiles profiles and make sure you have this zabbix administrator user profile over here okay click on media and then you are going to click add from here you need to select the like uh, zabbix new the media type which we created just um, a while ago and then over here you are going to send uh, like write the email address on which you would like to receive the alerts in my case it's linuxworld.co at gmail.com okay now once it's done you are going to save it 
like add and then update it and make sure you need to make sure that it is selected like this okay this name is selected because uh, what happened uh, to me uh, last time it like I was selecting it and I think I forgot to update it or something like that and it kept on changing for two three times but anyway now it's fine I logged out logged in and then I tested and it uh, it worked so anyway you need to make sure that you are uh, confident that everything is working fine okay now once this is done let me check how much video okay it's almost 10 minutes so in my next video I'm going to create uh, the alerts okay so thank you for watching and this video was very important actually so please don't forget to understand this uh, video before using for actions thank you very much and see you in second uh, next video bye bye